Beach. It's about 20 minutes uh, trike from White Beach. You can actually get here on one of the island hopping tours, but you can also get here by just renting a tricycle for the day or just getting a trike for 150 each way. It's a more quieter beach. The waves are definitely stronger today. And yeah, we're just gonna be here chilling for a few hours. And I thought we'll get away from White Beach and the, the business for a little while. Yeah, here it is. Boats, lots of sunbeds. And, uh, people actually come from over there from the eye hopping tour and a few boats. It's not too bad on the beach, to be honest. You, I know you're good for me. I think I'm good for you. So let's see what tonight brings me. It's a fun thing. So it's a fun thing. So So we made it to White Beach Station 2. We didn't spend that long there, the beach wasn't very nice. I flew the drone for a few seconds and um, this lifeguard came up to me and asked if I, need a, if I have a permit. Apparently you need a permit to fly at Buka Beach. Um, so I just brought the drone down and then we headed back to White Beach. So it's 150 each way for a tricycle, so it's not too bad. But the beach is not really as nice. It is less crowded, but not as nice and it's quite windy, so we couldn't really swim there. for dinner. We literally came back from the beach, probably had an hour or so of sleep, had a shower, got ready and we didn't watch the sunset, we didn't bother with the sunset. I think we're gonna go out tonight after we eat. So we're gonna go to this place called Steampunk. Apparently they do really good burgers and um, shakes and stuff so we're gonna go there, grab something to eat and we'll see what the night takes us. So we just ordered some food here at Steampunk and the food looks really good. I got like four mini burgers and Jay's got like a classic quarter pounder but I end up ordering like a ultimate chocolate milkshake as well. So this is the milkshake. It looks so good. The quarter pounder over there and then that's the four mini sliders. Look how cute they look. So, so we're just gonna have some pre-drinks here. We bought some Borakai rum which is just like coconut rum. It's made by like a, a famous local brand. What's it called? Tan, Tan Drew, Tan Drew. And they do like normal white rum and dark rum. But this is probably gonna be, uh, taste similar to Malibu. So we bought some Coke with it. And we'll have a couple of drinks before we go out.
Oh yeah, so we just got back. We went to Waves. They had like 60 peso like drink selections, which is pretty good. It was like 40 rounds. Really nice place, good DJ. We also went to this place. Um, it's like a backpackers place called Exit. They had like 50 peso rum and coke and rum and pineapple. And their drinks was like crazy. It was like more than three quarter rum. And it was like a little bit of coke and pineapple. But we just got some McDonald's here. And yeah, tomorrow's gonna be our last day in Borokai until we go to Quran. But a sketch bliss got me dreaming of our big girl. Mm. Thinking of the picture running all around my head, girl. What is going on guys? Today we woke up a little bit late from yesterday because uh, we didn't get back till about I think 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning So yeah, we just had breakfast at Real Coffee and Cafe place um, Probably our favourite breakfast spot Decent price and really good meals We're just on the Station 1 beach It seems like a lot more quieter um, but the sun is really blazing hot today It's probably the highest day we've so far been in Barakai But yeah, got not much left much plan except for just chilling on the beach again I guess Alright guys, so we try to walk uh, across Station 1 Beach, which is right across over there. Yeah, and it's like the sun's blazing hot at the moment and there's no shade at all. So we just come back to like this tree bit. And we're just chilling here for a little while until the sun <laughs> calm down a bit. Probably take about 30 minutes to walk from one end to the next. Um, maybe more of the beach. Um, but yeah, the weather is really, really nice, but it's just way too hot. And like I left my sunglasses in Shargao on the island hopping. So I happen to like squint every time I look out, which is quite annoying. Same lunches we've been on for a couple of days. We're just gonna enjoy the last bit of the sun, I think, before the sunset, and then figure out where we're gonna go eat tonight. Um, I really fancy somewhere on the beach, to be honest. So we're gonna go out as well for a few drinks, but we're gonna come back early because we've got a pack for tomorrow. Your name, name, or your name? Burakai. No, I don't want it. No, thank you. No, thank you. Sure, <laughs> Give me a good price. I don't want my name on that book, I think. Mm. Thank you. So we're at station one again, and we're gonna watch the last. Uh, can uh, So we're at station one again, and we're gonna watch the last bit of the sunset in Borokai. It's gonna be our last sunset in Borokai for a little while, I think. Okay, 
Okay guys, so we just finished watching the sunset. That's probably, that's our second sunset in Borokai, and probably our best one yet. We found a really nice spot. So basically what you want to do is head towards station one, and then you see like these bushes here. It's like uh, connecting to station two to station one. And then like, we just literally set up like a little tower, like behind these um, bamboo. And like there's literally hardly any crowd that comes by. And you can actually get really good photos and really good view of the sunset as well. Now we're going to head back get changed, go for somewhere really nice to eat and then we're gonna have a few drinks, come back early, pack and then tomorrow will be Quran. So we ended up dining at a place called Chow Chow's and it was pretty good food. We had like a pizza, battered fish and chips as well as spring rolls. Um, real good food, good vibes. We was right on the beachfront. Um, just having dinner on the beach which is pretty nice. We didn't actually go for drinks later on because Jay's not feeling like 100% so we just got back and we've been packing for the last hour or so. Tomorrow I think we're going to be out here by 5, half 5. We've got a flight, um, I think it's 9 o'clock in the morning or something so we're going to be up pretty early. Basically you've got to catch a trike to the pier and then a 15 minute boat to the other pier and then I think it's like a 10 minute tricycle to the airport. So yeah, like there could be delays or anything, so we've got to get up early tomorrow. Um, and then it's a flight to Manila and then Manila to Quran. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog.